society. We are here at the front yard, or front row card show here in Las Vegas. Quite a bit of people here, first card show. Gonna go find some uh, baseball cards to buy. Uh, they got Beckett and uh, SGC here to great cards. I don't know if I'll get anything graded today, uh, but looks like we got a couple of the local card shops here, Game Day Sports over there. Just went and seen uh, the awesome card shop. Uh, we're trying to find some top update for you guys. I uh, will get back with you guys soon. A few moments later. Hey everyone. I have just uh, gotten back to my house from the front row card show here in Las Vegas at the uh, Rio Hotel and Casino. Um, I'm excited. I was able to pick up a little bit of stuff. Um, they had a bunch of other blaster boxes. I think I saw a monster box there. It was going for about 75. I thought that was a little high. I didn't grab that one, unfortunately, but I did get two mystery packs and a hobby box here, as you can see in the screen before you. Um, we got one baseball mystery pack that's a premium graded sports card pack. Um, these are baseball cards only. Um, so that's what I liked, especially about these mystery packs. I don't like getting the mystery packs with all the other, you know, NFL or hockey or basketball in them. Just because, personally, I'm not really into that other uh, sports like that. Football, yes, I am a huge Green Bay Packers football fan, but I'm not really into the card deal of it. Um, so basically, yeah, like I said, before we have the uh, premium sports card pack and a regular, um, the... Uh, the regular baseball mystery pack. It looks like it has two ins or two star cards, one insert card, one rookie card, a number card, an autograph card, and a sealed baseball pack. Um, the guy did mention to me that any sealed packs and most of these cards are uh, obviously more recent. Uh, he said anytime really between 2018 and now. So that's nice. Obviously, I should know most of these guys that are in here. And then the uh, more upgraded one, you get a one star card, one insert card, one rookie card. A premium sealed pack and then a premium graded sports card um, so that basically means you know hopefully it's a we'll see if it's a PSA or if it's a Beckett or if it's a SGC hopefully it's a PSA that'd be not that'd be nice I don't know if they're all tens I can't remember what the guy told me uh, but hey I'm excited to rip these things open um, this is actually the first hobby box I've ever bought and so I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll open this hobby box first um, and then I will end with uh, this blue and the green pack um, just to see if we got good hits out of those. Let's go ahead and start ripping this hobby box open. Open it from the back. I want to see if I can get it sit up on the top to actually open it the way you're supposed to. Let me see. So it looks like punch these in. And something's supposed to fold up. So sorry guys, bear with me here. This is the first one I've opened, so I'm trying to figure out how this thing fits in here. I want to say that this thing probably tucks. There you go. I think I got it in here, so. I'll keep these up like this. I will go ahead and if you guys can see that there. Um, looks like we get a uh, hobby exclusive. Um, I don't know if they call this a silver pack, a green pack. Call it, I've heard it called a couple different things. Um, I will open this one last um, of this box uh, before I get the mystery boxes. So let's go ahead and get all these card packs out of here. Well, just some of them that I open. So let's do a few. How many packs do we get in here? We get 20 packs. So I'll do uh, four at a time. Definitely excited opening this first hobby box I've ever opened. We actually got the guys last two. They had a few more hobby boxes there, but they were a little bit higher in price. They were around 145, 150. Um, this guy actually sold it to us um, for 135 so I know it's a little bit higher than online but by the time you pay tax you're actually paying more so I think I got a decent deal on this one I was going to get a few cards graded uh, but it didn't 
wasn't as easy as I thought. I thought I was going to get them graded there, possibly. But obviously, there's like a turnaround time that the guy's got to professionally go and look under a, I don't know if it's a microscope or magnifying glass or what. But all right, let's go ahead and hit these first four packs. Oh, we'll go through a lot of our base cards here. I got an Autumn Tales, so I'll just stick all the inserts over here by themselves. Uh, if you guys can see that one there. Uh, looks like we have a Salvador Perez, Brianelli, Carl Santana, Blaze Alexander, Trent Grisham, and 35th anniversary Parker Meadows. I've actually gotten that one. I got that one last time um, in the last couple packs. So I'll just I'll collect all these 35th anniversary in the same one as well. Okay, nothing hit yet. Got the Juan Soto Yankees. Some of these cards back over here. We got Josh Gibson, all time uh, batting average leader. Yeah, I'll put that on the side. I don't know if that's a special card or not. Eh, put it off to the side. Let's see, Alex Wood, so doesn't look like we got much out of that. Hopefully, the other packs are better. All right, second set of four packs. I was gonna try to take more video during the show, um, but I did not have I'm not say have. I didn't. Ex I didn't know what to expect, basically. So it was a little difficult. Uh, just trying to. My brain was scrambling. I was gonna try to get you know video, or more video of some of the cards they had. Uh, I'm sure there will be a bunch of other videos of that online of other guys what they found. I was really trying to find a good priced judge card that was maybe autographed. There wasn't really anything that I saw at a decent price. Uh, most stuff was, I mean, you're talking about $400 at least. Um, so that, not too much in my price range at this point just for one card. So, all right, second set of cards to rip. Pete Crow Armstrong, I'll start a rookie card pile too of the pro debuts only. I was able to sell a couple cards as well. Um, didn't get much. Only got about ten bucks, to be honest with you. But there were cards that I wasn't wasn't emotionally tied to, so I was able to get that. Basically, just let those cards go. I mean, they're just gonna sit at my house in a box. Uh, I think I sold a mystical, just a regular Aaron Judge, thirty fifth anniversary. Nothing too crazy. Thought at first I sold maybe a Aaron Judge, or not Aaron Judge, Garrett Cole. Uh, another Autumn Tales, uh, Jordan Alvarez, and Jackson Churio. So still nothing yet, and I think that's about makes us about halfway through, I believe. Can't complain last night, my Yankees, they almost grounded it, but you know what, we came back and uh, won in the top of the ninth inning basically, held them in the bottom of the ninth, they started scaring us again a little bit, they got two runners on, but 
Canely with the save. So they're one out away. There's actually, we're going to be playing a game here, I think in another hour or two from me when I'm filming this video. But hopefully the Yankees can get to the World Series again. A lot of people don't like the Yankees just because they won so much. But I'm a Yankees fan through and through. So even when they have been horrible, so looks like we looks like we got two of the same cards at the top. That's kind of weird. And it looks like our first backwards card. And that is a rainbow foil, Zach Geloff. So that's our best card yet. Austin Wells, put him in the rookie pile. I already have one of him. Don't really know. That kind of looks like a image variation, but we'll see. Another one. Oh, this is a Jackson Holiday flipped around one. Jackson Holiday. That is a nice card there. That might that's probably the best card we have now out of this box. There's a rainbow foil of Jackson Holiday. A lot of these double cards out of the uh, double player cards out of the box uh, the the update series I've been noticing. Trevino, Kevin Pilar, and here is a Jackson Cheerio uh, Mystical. You guys can see that there. I'll keep that off in its own pile again. Pete Alonzo All Star, Montway Jr. Sawa, Adam Adovino. So we're coming on a 35th anniversary card. And this one is a Mookie Betts. I think I've already got him. Oh, we'll cut that in the 35th anniversary pile. And then uh, we got Jonathan Rodriguez. Just a regular card. Still not that good hits yet. Hopefully all the good hits are in these bottom packs. We got two more stages of rips. Pack. So we still got total of eight packs left. I'll keep these rainbow foils in the same pile. Just make sure not to mess up the Jackson Holiday. It's probably worth something. More than just a regular card for sure. But yeah, I was uh, extremely unprepared. I was really trying to sell some cards. Um, but nobody, I had a lot of number cards with me to try to sell. Um, I thought about maybe parting ways with the Tatis card I had. Uh, but some guy lowballed me at 70 or 75 at the beginning and he didn't want to buy anything less than 100. And then uh, the second guy would have gave me possibly 125 for it. But I just, that's still the only autograph card I have. And hopefully... I mean, in this box, I should get an autograph or a relic. So, it'd be nice to get an autograph one. But, we'll see. We'll see what the uh, card gods bring us here. I might see a fat card in this one somewhere. So, hopefully we get a good hit out of here. Another Jackson Holiday. That one's a rookie card. Another Zach Galoff. Evan Carter. There's a bunch hitting in this one. Paul Skeens, it's a regular Paul Skeens card. Yeah, nothing too great in here yet. Let's put some of these more of these cards off to the side. So got Greg Maddox, 35th anniversary. I gotta really check the back of those once I get done with this. Make sure they're not numbered. 
another Tyler Black, Jackson Merrill. Put him in that good rookie pile too. Yamamoto. Austin Martin. A Ronald Acuna. Let him cook. I've seen some of those be worth some money, so not really too sure on these, to be honest with you, but we'll see. We'll see what they get. I'll put them in the pile with the Autumn Tales cards. Scott Barlow. Soderstrom. And here's our autograph. Joey Loper Fido. Not sure if he's actually in the MLB now. I don't think so. But this one, it's not a numbered card, but it's obviously it's an autograph. You guys can see that one there. So I'll get that one sleeved up. Protect it for now. It's fairly crisp, so that's good. And then uh, we have a Shoei Otani All Star Game card. That's got to be worth something. I don't know if I have the all-star game cards anywhere. And then a catcher from the Seattle Mariners that I do not know. All right, so we're down to our last four packs of this hobby box. Nice if we find a relic in here too, or just a bonus hit. I guess we can see. There might have been a relic in that one right there. I think I saw a pretty fat card in that one, so that gets me excited. All the good stuff was at the bottom of the box, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. That's another fat card in there or not, but we'll see. All right, Mark Leiter Jr. We've got, he's obviously a Yankee. Oh, he's Mark Leiter. I think he, yeah, he's a Yankee now. So. The Shohei Otani. Put that in the Otani pile. People love Otani. And it looks like we got our first flips around or our first of this rip back. It's a Hunter Stratton. He is a uh, it's a green. And this one should be numbered to 499. So that's our I believe that's our first number card in this one, so go ahead and stop and sleeve that up. Greens don't look bad. The blues and the reds look best to me, to be honest, but green's actually my favorite color. Looks like we have a mystical Pete Alonzo. And Duhar, he's an ex-Yankee. Gavin Williams. She's got Profar. There's a JD Martinez. A gold, a gold JD Martinez. He 
you guys can see that. Nice card. Don't mind it. Obviously, it's out of 2024, so like I said, all the hits are coming out of these last four packs. That's got like their City Connect jersey or something on it. Looks like it's got his City Connect jersey on there, if you guys can see that. So that's in a good pile. It's got the Juan Soto American League All-Star game. Yep. Yeah, up here, I think I've gotten two of those. Colton Cowser, I'll put him in the good pile again. Joey Ortiz. Jeff Hoffman, and I think we are coming up on a relic. Let's see what this is, guys. Let's see if we can master this box again. It is a Ellie De La Cruz relic card, and it's numbered to 199. Holy crap, man. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's nice. That makes the hit of this box a little bit better. That's pretty cool. That is freaking awesome. That one is getting loaded up and sleeved immediately. Man, that's cool. That is a good relic card. Finally, yes. Got a good one. Thought we were gonna go through this bag and not get a good one, guys. Thought I was gonna let you guys down. This one's a little bit tight on the penny sleeve I have, so I gotta be a little careful. But heck yeah, man. The only thing that makes that better is getting a freaking autograph on that, but. Heck yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boom. All right, let's see if we can get anything else out of the rest of this. Steve Matz, Josh Smith, Romy Gonzalez, Nick Martinez, Sam Taylor, AJ Puck. There's another Jackson Holiday. Throw him in the regular rookie cards. <clears throat> and this is an Aaron Judge something. Let's see, this is a top of black. Holy crap. That is a nice card. It is not. I don't believe it's numbered, but this is a Topps Black Gold Aaron Judge. I don't see a number on it. But I will take it, man. I will take this card. I'm a oh man, that's this this end of this pack is really hitting good for me. Aaron Judge, Ellie De, La Cruz, Ellie De La Cruz. I still got that. Um, the Hobby Exclusive Pack open up. So, nice card, guys. Nice card. Not numbered, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, we have a Jackson Merrill here. That is uh, not numbered, but it's 35th anniversary. And then Matt Brash to close it out. Alrighty. Uh, let me just uh, adjust these cards real quick. Alright, so we have this. I said, I don't know if they call it. This is the Hobby, Hobby Exclusive Pack. So, look at all the pretty good hits over here. This one. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we got on this. I. It says this has four cards in it. Come on, big money. Come on, let's go. Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani, something. Come on. Let's get this, baby. All right, looks like our first card is a 
Cody Bellinger. And these are nice quality. These are really, really nice. We have a Nolan Ryan, Fred McGriff, and a Sal Frelick. This is just poster pools. So nothing crazy out of this one. I don't think these are any... None of these are numbered because they should have it on the front. But these are all... Oh, it's because they're tops chrome. Yeah, no numbers, but I'd say the best one out of there might be maybe the Nolan Ryan. Yeah, we'll see. Did not know that you get tops chrome out of that. Thought it was just normal higher end card, but hey. Can't be upset. We still got fairly good things. So I'm going to go ahead and now open up this $30 pack. Um, this one's got, I said before, two star cards, one insert card, one rookie, one numbered, one autograph, and one sealed pack. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Let's see if they make this easy or not. Uh, not too bad. Just don't want to hurt whatever's in there. Alrighty, you guys are going to see this the same time I will. I'm not going to block anything for you guys, so. Alright, so it's turned back around one way. So, tops chrome on the top. And the first card we have is a signature series, Reese Nur. Not familiar with who that is. Carlton Fisk, I do know who that is. If you guys can see these, I'm trying to get them a little closer so you can see. I know the, the light here is not working with me too great, but. Alrighty. Let me see if I can adjust this light for you guys before I get through much more of this. Stand by for a second for me. Should be good. Let's see if that's a little bit better. So this first one was Reese Nur. Uh, I'm not sure who that is exactly, but this is a Carlton Fisk. That's a relic card. Uh, 20, 2008 um, Threads card. Oh, look at that. Number to 150. Hmm. Pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm a Yankees fan. It's hard for the Red Sox, but... Hey, I'll, I'll take that, man. So, this is a Junior Caminero. Just a regular card there. Just Chrome. Anthony Volpe. Sights on September. This is a Bowman Chrome. Not numbered, but I, I'm unfamiliar with everything that's really out of Tops. Tops' is world, so. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr., Tops Chrome, not numbered, just a regular Tops Chrome card. And I don't really know what this is. This is a Cal Ripken. Anybody knows what this is, please let me know. This is a Cal Ripken Jr. The World of Champions. I don't really know what this is is I'm trying to figure out what this is anyways it looks kind of cool it's a tops chrome huh anyways i'll stick that in some of the good pile all right this is the tops chrome pack that they gave me in here so it looks like we have a cardinal to start it off you guys can see that. Jose Fermin. Bryce Terang. Sandy Alcantara. Jose Tena. So that's not a great pack. No numbers. But we'll keep rolling. All right. On to the big mamma jamma. This one's got a graded card in here. 
So big money. Let's let's hope this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing before, guys. I'm still gonna pull this out so you're seeing it at the same time I am. So this first one, I can already see the back. It says it's a Mike Trout PSA. It's degraded. We'll save that one for the end. I'll try to hide it here so we can't see it. I can't see either, guys. We have a baseball heritage. I'll try to block it so I can't see it either. We have a Junior Caminero big league card. Trey Turner, top's finest. That one is not numbered. See if this other one's numbered either. No, it is not. Rod Carew, Mr. 3000. That one is not numbered. And our last one is a Mike Trout, Don Russ, 2022. It's a mint. This one says that it is worth 50 bucks. So that's, I believe that's a... PSA, a PSA 9. It's hard to see. Sorry about the reflection, guys. But you see right up here, you got a PSA 9. It's a mint. It's not a 10, but it's a PSA 9. If it was a 10, probably would have been a little more stoked, but. All right, that's the first. This is the first graded card I've ever gotten. So you guys are experiencing the same thing with me right here. We got to see what the value is on all these other ones. So we got another Topps Chrome pack here. I'm trying to keep all these cards together. I, like I said, I only really collect the regular Top Series One, Series Two. So this one is Connor Phillips, J.P. Crawford, and Samad Taylor. So that looks like it's another bust with that pack. To be honest with you, I don't know anything about this. So. Let me know. I don't know if that is a on card or if that's printed. I can't tell. This is a Shohei Otani signed card. It looks like these are all. Okay, so I think all these have like a printed autograph on them. So we got a Shohei Otani, Hunter Brown, Andrew Haney. So it looks like, yeah, their autographs are just right on top of it. Jose Kaus, J.D. Martinez, Bryce Jarvis, Javier Baez. Michael Rucker, and a Brandon Marsh. So I don't think any of these, I gotta look at them real quick to see if these are numbered. I don't know if where these have the numbers on. So like I said, if you guys can help me out, maybe it's, I don't see anything on the back. I don't know if these are numbered or not, so. I said you guys are gonna have to help me out with that but anyways i mean this otani's got to be worth something i thought that was a freaking autograph show a card off the top and i know it's all of them were so um javier baez i might be worth something jd might be worth something that's probably about it um so basically to recap guys uh, we were able to get, obviously, the top hit of here, I believe, is this Ellie De La Cruz to 189. That's a pretty sick card. Uh, we got this Aaron Judge, tops black. It's a blue. I guess it's blue parallel. Uh, not numbered, but I'm a huge Yankees fan. So that means a lot to me. J.D. Martinez, a gold, so it's automatically numbered to 2024. Uh, we had this Hunter Stratton. It was a green. That's numbered to 499. This was our on-card autograph. Um, 
Joey Loperfato. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I apologize if I'm jacking that up. It's not numbered, but it's an autograph. Um, and then we had, I would consider probably this Carlton Fisk. Probably worth a good chunk of change. And then obviously this uh, PSA 9, Mike Trout. This is a uh, 2022 Don Russ. So that's got to be worth something. And it's numbered to 500. So uh, first time opening up a hobby box. I don't mind it. I thought it was pretty good. I actually do like these, uh, those mystery packs that I bought. But I appreciate you guys. It's been a fun day. I've had uh, over at my first card show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. But I appreciate you guys watching. If there's anything that you guys want to see more of, please let me know. Uh, please like and comment if you want to see more of this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care and good night.